Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I don't know what is going on. I don't know if it's my camera or my card, but I filmed a video yesterday and the first video was corrupted. I filmed a vlog yesterday. I was in Paris from Wednesday to Sunday. And before that, I was also on vacation for a week. So I thought I'd just make a vlog, unpack my things, show you what I got in Paris, tell, talk about Paris, then something happened i got back on sunday but i stayed another night at my boyfriend's house and yesterday monday i got back home my mom told me the bad news that my bunny had died on friday i think it was friday but anyways he died while i was in paris that was really sad news my battery was dead but okay i believe i talked a long time about oscar about my bunny and what happened while i was crying a lot so maybe this is um, better maybe this is less depressing i don't remember much of what i told you bella our cat was meowing in the window for like 15 minutes and my mom didn't really understand why and later she got her bike from the shed and put it in the backyard she saw him just laying there in his cage she said he looked peaceful though so i hope um, he didn't really suffer or anything we don't really know exactly what it is i think it was just his time he was not really old for a bunny he was six and a half years old but bunnies can live longer than that so i don't know if it's because of his age or whatever because he wasn't that old i didn't really see it coming i was kind of shocked to hear it yesterday when i got home it's hard to believe i just i really did not expect it to be this soon i thought maybe one two more years i don't know i don't think i really showed him in my videos before it's because he lived outside in the cage so you've never seen him before but i want to show you him now this was oscar when he was like eight weeks old or something this is when we just got him in 2016 he looks so cute <laughs> i also have photos with me on it well i looked ugly as hell we were both babies that's okay this was him when he was a little bit older maybe a few months my favorite moment was definitely when he was able to walk around the whole yard it was really fast so he didn't dare to just put him loose in the yard but at some point two years ago we were like let's just put him loose in the yard and we'll see how it goes and he loved it and he was so happy and he was just jumping around and it was really cute he was so excited he is gone now and i'm sad about it my mom buried him in the backyard in a box and the video that I filmed yesterday was also a little different than I had in mind at first. After this, you will see me unpack my stuff. I will show you everything that I got in Paris and I will tell you about Paris. I also do some other things, but yeah. This is also a part of life. I just wanted to share it with you. I like to express my emotions, I guess. So, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so funny story. My boyfriend and I went to Paris together. We went with this organization that plans like bus, um, um, that travels with like bus and stuff. So I'm sorry if my English is crap today. I can't really think properly, but this organization, they like arrange bus drives. They go with the bus to a certain destination. So the whole time you're there from the moment you get picked up to <laughs> What are you doing? I missed you too. The whole trip, trip, the whole trip, you're with the same group of people and the same driver, the same bus driver. And with a big bus, you go to the city that you chose. I really can't talk. Well, we were in Paris. It was pretty hot. The last day, of course, we got picked up in the morning and we had to bring our suitcases right away. But then we were brought to the Sacre Coeur. <laughs> in the afternoon, we got picked up again and we went back home. I believe we arrived back home around 8 since 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Our bags were in the bus. It was like 32 degrees. I have this thing on my bag, which has like my name and my address and stuff in case my suitcase gets lost i got my suitcase out and it literally it melted to my suitcase it's also like not straight anymore i have a bunch of stuff i have to take it all out i'm gonna give a gift to my mom i show you my mom's gift and i'm gonna go bring it to her and then i'm gonna unpack it <laughs> first i gotta find it oh there it is i got two magnets obviously both from paris this one has the arc the triumph arc the tri triumph arc the tri triumph and I have one with the Eiffel Tower, but I wanted to keep one for myself, but now I don't know which one. They're like 
3D. They're so cool. But I don't know which one I want to keep for me. I think this one with the Eiffel Tower. So I'm gonna go give this one to my mom real quick. I am back. <laughs> I am gonna unpack this. So enjoy this little time lapse. Oh my god, Nito. This is Milo. He's getting big, isn't he? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I unpacked everything. I'm going to show you everything that I got in Paris. Also, I don't know if you've ever seen this video. I posted as a short on YouTube, but I also posted it on TikTok. Recently, I got like at least two DMs who asked if they could repost my video and stuff. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Because I knew that the video on TikTok did pretty well and it had like 300,000 views and it was pretty insane. But <laughs> I looked again after I got those DMs and <laughs> turns out it had like a second wave and blew up again. And now <laughs> it's at 1.7 million views on tiktok and i don't even know how but i keep getting comments and likes and everything but i really did not expect that it's already been reposted on like a cat account i think or an animal account they didn't ask me but it's okay they tagged me so i'm fine with it i've never had a video been reposted before i thought that was really cool and it's doing so well on tiktok i'll link it in the description if you want to check it out as well but it's a really fun video besides that i'm going to show you everything that i bought in Paris. So I bought souvenirs, but I also just bought some clothes. I have a lot of maps and everything. We've been to so many things. If you didn't know, this was my third time in Paris. I think the first time has been over six years and the second time was five years ago or something. So it's been a while. We went to the Louvre, the museum where the Mona Lisa is hanging. We came in. It's huge right this is the museum with the glass triangle in front which i am so fascinated by i don't even know why this is the map this is the map but we finally found the mona lisa after like 45 minutes or so you come into this giant room with this huge wall with just the mona lisa just a Mona Lisa, it's not even that big with glass around it so that it can't get damaged or anything. There's a whole line of people filling up the room because you have to get in line to get close to the Mona Lisa and take a picture of it. <laughs> we just went on the side of the line and just took a picture like this. It wasn't a very good picture, it wasn't very close. There's also another map, Museum d'Orsay. Say, I don't know. They had very good paintings. They had Van Gogh, which of course came from our country, so we're kind of proud of that. And they also had Monet. There was a lot hanging from Van Gogh, so that was really fun. Fun fact, if you live in Europe and you're between 18 and 26 years old, you can get in anywhere. No, that's not true. You can get in, in like all the museums for free. So that's really cool. So like Musée d'Orsay, we could go in for free. Louvre, we could go in for free. Eiffel Tower, we did have to pay for, but we also went to Versailles. It has these huge huge yards. It's actually a museum now, the inside, so the inside we can go in for free, the yards we did have to pay for. Plus the Eiffel Tower also, if you're under 26 or something, you get the tickets for half price. We could go to the top for 10 euros and 20 cents per person. Anyways, the things that I bought. I thought this was so fun. Look at this. It's like a drawing, it's not a real drawing, but I just thought it was so pretty. It was like one euro per piece. I'm pretty sure this is Champs-Élysées. I just don't know how to see it. We have some cards. I bought these on the Eiffel Tower. These were like three for four euros, I think. And I just really like them. I bought this one for my grandpa and grandma. I also bought these two. I love them both so much. One is gonna be for my best friend. I don't know yet which I'm gonna send to her, but the other one I'm gonna keep for myself. Then I also bought this. It's this little bag. You can like 
like put your toiletries in it and stuff but it's actually kind of big like the bottom expands a lot as well this came with it it says i love paris so we went on top of the arc de triumph you can also get on top for free if you live in europe and you're between 18 and 26 years old so we went inside and you have to like walk off of these stairs but they had a little souvenir shop i just really liked it and i just bought it it was 50 euros i think i thought it was pretty expensive but i really really liked it then i just had to buy a bag they have so many bags and i bought this one i don't know if you can see it really well there's the eiffel tower in the back it's kind of like a painting and i just really really loved it and here it says cafe de paris it's well, still kind of subtle and it just looks really good it was five euros and my battery's dying so i'll be right back what i also bought is this i bought this yesterday yesterday before we went home we got dropped off at sucker they also had of course little shops and souvenir shops and whatever they had a lot of cute stuff and they also had these notebooks it's really fun because i'll show you the inside they had a lot of different themes but when you look inside every page is different every page looks so completely different and i was so obsessed with it and i've never seen anything like this they all have a different design they're all different none are the same i just had to take it it was six euros so it's kind of expensive for a notebook i also took some polaroids i want to show you those as well so we have the eiffel tower this is the sucker this is the louvre this is a little street where we had our lunch this is below the arc de triumph this is the oprah one day um the bus dropped us off at the oprah and it was so gorgeous this building was so beautiful it was insane i also have a card from the place that we ate nicole's this is a ticket from musée d'orsay this actually wasn't ours because we could go in for free but my boyfriend found this on the floor and he was like here you go you can use it for your scrapbooking i was like oh my god thank you <laughs> here's a ticket from the eiffel tower and this is my ticket from 2017 so five years ago that was the last time i was there they're exactly the same that's not everything <laughs> i also got clothes i got this shirt from pull and bear it says best place portland 9091 and i absolutely love it then i got this one from h&m it says tennessee usa memphis i really like it but mostly i also love the color it's just a comfy shirt then we also found this store that i never heard of before i think it's only in france really cute clothes for a really good price it's called don't call me jennifer this is the first hop basically everything had this card it says that if you buy three items the third one you get for one euro it was on all the clothes and every piece of clothing so this is the first one it's a yellow top i've been obsessed with yellow lately it looks really good this is the second item <laughs> it says cherry coke the tag also says coca-cola but also of course don't call me jennifer this is their logo by the way don't call me jennifer but i really liked it and this one was 10 euros i I think this was the most expensive item and this is the last thing that i bought there i just really liked it it was eight euros i think this one was seven euros i'm very happy with it i feel like there was something else that i wanted to tell you that i can't remember right now i still have my yes doll package to open up I can't believe I didn't read the reviews properly because this is not what it looks like in a picture. I'll show you the picture in a try on haul, but this color is way off. This one, I was kind of scared to order, but I did it anyway because I thought it would be cute for Paris. <laughs> It's this top and you like you can do with this whatever you like. I just thought it was really pretty. I'm very curious how this is gonna look. <laughs> I already had this in white and I absolutely loved it. So I thought that's ordered in black as well because I don't have a lot of black tops. Oh my god, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I got this one. I already had this one in beige and I loved it. I was so, so obsessed with it, but they had it in more pretty colors. So I ordered it in pink as well. The color is kind of weird on camera, but it's pretty. Uh, I was so excited about this one. Ooh, I got a dress and it has a pretty floral print on it. But in the back, it is open and you have like two strings that you can tie. So you can like kind of adjust it at the waist and it's pretty. I hope it fits well really wanted to take this with me to paris and then i also got this this isn't very important but these are just shorts to wear under dresses and skirts and i already bought these before but they ripped in the back i had to buy new ones so okay hi yeah i still have you still sad about my bunny there's nothing i can change about it
Hi. Look at how she's sitting. I guess that was it. It was kind of a different video than I had in mind. I'm sorry about that. I hope you still kind of like this video, the rest of it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to become a part of the family. And I hope I will see you in my next video.